Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you Cancerian for being here. These are going to be some general messages, general love messages for what is um, either happening currently or is to come in your love life. I feel like looking at a new person. So this could be a reading for single people, single Cancerian. So we're going to look at a new person that's coming into your life or a new love interest. Okay. I feel like someone, for some people, Cancer, for some of you, someone has decided to either depart from a connection, to end a connection, or to have a connection with you. This person could be Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, with the Hangman energy. This person has been long thinking of this. It's due, it's like overdue. Okay. To make this move especially seeing it with the justice energy there and then we have the two of cups so this is a union i feel like this person has dreamt of <clears throat> has visioned has meditated upon has um upon meeting with you i feel like this person has connected with you before even in spirit in soul like you have met because I'm literally feeling that this union has come together with the two of swords, with the two of cups energy. It's, it's, it has happened before or it has happened already. Okay. So maybe it's, it has not um, manifested yet in physical form, but I do feel like it has ha like two souls have met. You know what I mean? The spirit has met, the souls have met, the essence of both of you have met already. Even if you haven't found this person yet in physical form. I'm seeing fire energy here once more and another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So that could be the person that's coming toward you. And um, they do have an intention possibly to marry you or to help you to, not to help you Cancer, but to move you into a better place in your life emotionally. So this person may want to get married to you. We have the twin flames vibration as well. Lovers. There could very well be a proposal. This person could be a person you block, you, you blocked in your past energy and they want to come back around to you. Okay. You know, I feel like this person thinks they're taking a leap of faith to come around, to check in with you again, to see if they can have some kind of progress with you in love. Like I said, this person may intend on married, getting married to you because that's the feeling that they have in their heart space. They want to connect. They want to be wed to you. I'm also seeing earth sign Virgo energy here. I feel like both of you are telepathically connected. You could definitely be soulmate twin flames 150%. Like your souls connect even when you're not together. Your souls know that this is the ideal partner. There may have been, you may have met this person before. And then there was a separation. But it's like the two souls haven't separated. And I feel more so the other person, Cancerian, really wants to come around as if you guys never um, depart, never separated. Because they still feel this soul connection. I'm literally like the two of cups energy is giving me. Both of your souls are still pledging, are committed to each other. And this person wants to come back to, as if take this place again in physical form. Um, so let's see what the justice energy will say about these messages. What is justice card on the board? <clears throat> and I hear balance. It has something to do with... As if this person wants to make, have a home with you, you know, or they want to make something right by you in the home. It feels like marriage because the justice energy feels like, well, it's clarified by the four of ones, which is typically seen as a card of marriage. This is like the wedding day, jumping over the broom vibration, the full experience of two souls uniting as one here coming together being bonded by the divine actually you know what i mean because the the things we see here the 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 the, the what are, the, the the bush the trees the grass whatever it feels like this is the divine the belt that ties the union that ties both the sanctification of both of you coming together it's as if yeah, it's literally like a wedding where a wedding day where both of you decide to come together. No, you could have a family of four or you could be bringing your own family. It's like yeah, joining our families, joining our families. Two people come, coming together with families and joining that together. Um, 
that's what the justice energy is telling me tell me more about justice <clears throat> So justice is also saying maybe a person that walks away from you is returning. It's as if maybe your husband left or your wife. And uh, it, by law, they have to come back around to you. They have to. And the thing is, even though it's by law that they have to stay in this marriage or, you know, work on the separation... It's almost like this person wanted the law to work in their favor so that they can come back around to you. Maybe they weren't. It's as if this person is afraid to tell you exactly how they feel or how much they want you to be with you. That this person is coming even with, with the court to say, listen, I don't know, it's... So cancer, this could be a new person or a past person, but I'm strongly getting a past person returning vibration. See here? So someone left. We have Earth sign again, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. And the thing is, it's while someone was walking away that the other person decided, or has walked away, that the other person decided to chase after them. To, to actually stand in their emotional space. Or to be emotionally supportive. So it's like this person is coming after you know, I feel like they have matured some way, shape, or form. I'm also getting the energy that cancer you are moving forward with your life regardless away from this entire relationship or situation and it makes you feel so much more powerful. I can feel it in my body. My emotions are clear. I don't feel sad or drained. I'm more focused on my vision where I'm going and even if I have to go alone, it feels okay. I'm just ready to leave the past behind to go and serve my purpose. That's another energy we can look at here. That could be a union between you and your own soul, Cancer. That's justice. Justice could be saying, Cancer, we're going we're gonna to cause this separation so that you can really go focus on yourself. I do feel like your person, you know, they could have, um, they could need work done on themselves as well. I feel like that's why justice is also here to tell me that this person is like this person wasn't up to par. Well, they weren't ready. Justice could be upset as well. I don't know. It's as if this person tricked you into coming into your energy and then justice found out that this person's up to par with cancer. It's not, it's not the right match. This is not the person. This person isn't ready. They're not giving their all. They're, it, that justice was upset. So maybe that's what caused the, the separation between you two. Now this person could be returning because they claim that they've worked on themselves. I'm not sure if they have, but... I'm seeing very beautiful, promising cards here. High vibration. The King of Cups, the Knight of Wands, a lot of passion, desires. I feel like this person is going after what they want and it can just literally be this union with you. It's like they want to rest or they can't rest until they know that they, they have you. It's like they're, they feel alone, like unbalanced. Like they've lost us a, a, a part. It's like like this like the scale, the justice energy and the scale here is literally telling me that this person feels like they've lost their other half. You can see how much twinning vibration we have. The the lovers, which is twin flames, Gemini vibration. You know, I do feel like a lot of people are a lot of spirits are the universe wanted you two to come together. So it could have been a, a divine alignment even in the way you met this person. Could have been at work for both of you. But then just to realize that some, this person was living holding up their side of the bargain. So someone left. Yeah, and then we have the Two of Cups vibration, which is another divine soul union. This is sanctified and blessed. And both of you have or had or will have great amount of passion for each other. You know, but the stubbornness could come from old ways, like values that you learned in your past. Like this person could hold on to some old ways or it can be you that needs to change with the Five of Pentacles. Old ideas, beliefs, 
feelings of value, what you value, what you call valuable things, meaningful, your morals, what you hold on to, your faith, how you believe people should work. It's just that these basic ideas that people adopt growing up from their own individual lives and then coming together, it makes it a bit difficult for you to meld. So maybe I just that I feel like that's just what causes separation between you two, especially with your person. I feel your person was stubborn. It's like a stone. This person was like a stone in your water. They weren't floating with you. They were sinking. It's like they, they were kind of holding you back, but not really because it's like stone in water. You're going to move anyway. So that's how you moved away from this person because they weren't they didn't want to move with you they wanted to stay as stone in water they didn't i feel like this person had a lot of burdens maybe um a lot of traumas a lot of inflictions when it comes to their self-worth what they deserve their capabilities their visual their visions their dreams their aspirations so maybe this person wanted to stay one place when the universe brought you two together to do great things do great things together i feel because you are intuitive cancer and you're a healer this person could have qualities that really makes you guys perfect mates but this person this other person fire sign earth sign or a fellow water sign they weren't they were like stone in your water it's as if they got scared really they know you're their soulmate you know and they know they love you but it's like they just decided to hold back they were holding back emotions. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Tell me what happened to this person. Why, if you, why um, they decided to hold back. Angels first said. As if they got scared. Oh, maybe they weren't ready to settle down or to commit or to really give. It says if this person was going to get married on, on, and then on wedding day, they thought, oh my God, this is commitment. I'm going to have to commit. I can't do this. I can't be with one person for the rest of my life, you know. That's the king of one's energy. I feel like they had maybe interest in other things, maybe in their work or something else that they were working on. But this person was delaying the process. This could have been an earth sign, you know. They were literally, I feel like this person was deliberately waiting or delaying the process and telling you, like, give them some time. Because they were dealing with it in their own mind of, can I do this? Am I ready? But they weren't expressing that to you. They were letting you know how they feel. So you felt alone, Cancer. You're wondering, so what's up? What's going on? Why aren't you speaking to me? Why aren't we moving forward? What's really going on? This person may have been spending a lot of time at work. You know? And, and, and I feel, honestly, when this person is away from you, it makes them feel... less burdened like the work and the work in, in environment is is like a, a distraction because they don't have to deal with the commitment that they have vowed to you you know what i mean this person wasn't ready that's why justice was upset they, they weren't ready they were deliberately holding back from you because they were scared so they would go to work often i feel they would be out with others and it's and then you'd be like, um, so what's up? Can we talk about this? And they find something else to talk about or they have somewhere else to go. This person lost their mind or something. They were just too terrified of this connection. Like I said, they, they may have felt like you were in their thoughts, in their heart space, just so powerfully. It was just hard for them to just claim this and do it with you. And now... Guess what? The lifestyle that they thought would be better for them. Like, I'm not ready for, for married life. I like, I want to be single and open, not committed. And I feel like they had other people around them influencing that behavior as well. The high priestess. Influencing that behavior in them as well. I do feel that. Mm-hmm. And so they listen to these because this person wasn't grounded. They don't have a lot of boundaries or, you know, like the king of swords where the king of swords is militant, has willpower, knows who they are, has faith. This person is very creative, you know, and has a good heart. But it's, you know, it's the energy of a teenage, a teenager who gets influenced, who gets influenced by peer pressure. 
because they are not sure what they want. So this person's friend could come around and say, this is what you really want to do. And, and then influence them and the lifestyle may have felt nice to them. They may have been, you know, going out drinking, enjoying themselves with their friends and neglecting the F out of you. And they're waiting for this soulmate to really step up to the plate and let's do work. We have work to do. But they, they weren't ready. They didn't want to do this work with you. Cancer. That's just how I feel. Mm -mm. They were scared. It's like they completely... If this, I wish I could put it in a movie for you so you could understand this message perfectly, you know. <clears throat> so now you decided to leave and now they're realizing, Cancer, that they literally have lost the best thing. Their friends, the party, the, the, the free, uncommitted life, the adultery. Because, yeah, I feel like this person committed adultery again. So that's like, like, justice is upset. How many times should I tell you that? This person may have faced a lot of karma, and I mean, from the angelic realms, everyone was upset with this person, even themselves. This person is even upset at themselves, too. They, it's like this person is living in a bit of denial because they know they did wrong. They know they weren't ready to commit and to give you the things that they promised. You know, you could be facing karma. Like they're not comfortable or settled at all. They're uneasy in the mind and soul and the energy in their body. It's like anxiety. This person could be sick, coughing a lot, just feeling drained of energy, mental, um, a lot of thoughts, not clear. Even at work, they may be making mistakes and so on and so forth. It's like their life has been hauled and pulled up. Like the like the life haul and pull up complete like this is a realization like bricks, draw the bricks. You know what I mean on this person's life. It's like an awakening. They're like, what the fuck? I was supposed to love this person. This person was my soulmate. This is what we were supposed to do, and I neglected this. I treated this person in this way. It's like they're having a a a, a I don't know. Yeah, and I feel they're angry. And mostly at themselves, this person could be smashing things, breaking things, you know what I mean? Like, even while they're working and a thought comes across their mind and they remember how stupid they were, they, they're slamming things down. I, pe I feel like people are staying away from this person as well because they have this angry uh, attitude. And I don't feel like many people know what's going on. This person could be separating from their friends as well right now, like upset at their friends for causing them to... To, to to deny this beautiful connection that's how i feel like they're feeling now like it's such a wonderful connection that they had with you i don't know and and you know this person could be a new person that's going through this and there's and they're about to come into your life you know this person could be going through their separation with another person deciding that listen i want different i want more and it could be just that lifestyle that's going to cause them to ask for more and you are going to be the one that they move toward. So you, this person you may have not met yet, but I do feel like I'm reading for people who've been dealing with this vibration and then someone new will come into your life who knows how to give you what you want because they too have similar experiences and therefore have similar desires as you and similar vision. The, pe the person coming into your life has a similar vision to you, Cancer, and that's how you're going to meet. The eyes, oh my God. You guys are soul mates. As soon as you see, it, there's something about, the, maybe you're going to speak with this person or something about the chest area, the voice, the speaking, the throat, and the eyes, like the entire top half of your body. You know what I mean? It's going to be captivated. Your, both of your eyes will meet. Yeah. That's definitely your soulmate. So this is the message for you in this reading. Hit the like button, please. Do subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I really love and appreciate your support. I love doing messages for you, Ken Syrian. Um, share the messages with those you love. Hit share and share to your groups. Okay, that's the way to support my channel. Help my channel to grow. And thank you so much. Subscribe. I said that already. Much love to you. Much love. Remember that you're all and all is within you, my darling. You can be, do have everything and anything in this world you desire.